everyone. In the last session, we learnt about the components of blood, components of plasma and the different types of blood vessels. In everyday newspapers and media, now we are familiar with a new term known as plasma therapy. Let us see how plasma therapy is an apt treatment for COVID-19. In plasma therapy, the patients are transfused with plasma from those who have developed antibodies against virus or bacteria. It is like a passive immunity. The first valid trial of plasma therapy was done in the year 1892 for diphtheria using the serum from animals. Be proud to be a Keralaite because Kerala was the first state in India to start the experimental plasma therapy. Is blood and blood vessels suitable enough to carry all the nutrients to all the cells in our body? No. It's not possible. So, it requires a pumping organ. So, the today's topic, what we have to discuss is about the pumping organ known as heart. As the human heart works relentlessly like a pump, the blood flows through the blood vessels continuously in all the directions. The heart, it is a muscular organ situated in the thoracic cavity below the sternum and slightly tilted towards the left side. I will repeat the location once again. Heart is a muscular organ situated in between the two lungs just below the sternum and slightly tilted towards the left side. And the size of the human heart is about one's closed fist. One's closed fist. And it is protected by a double layered membrane known as pericardium. Peri Cardium. And the space between the pericardium, it is filled with a fluid known as pericardial fluid. Pericardial fluid. The function of pericardial fluid is to reduce the friction between the membranes when the heart beats. The function of pericardial fluid is to reduce the friction between the membranes when the heart beats. Now, let us have a closer look at the structure of heart. Human heart consists of four chambers. Two upper chambers and two lower chambers. Upper chambers are known as atria. Upper chambers are known as atria. And lower chambers are known as ventricle. Lower chambers are known as ventricle. Based on the side, this is right atria, left atria, right ventricle and left ventricle. So, human heart consists of four chambers, two upper chambers known as atria and two lower chambers known as ventricles. And the right side of the heart and left side of the heart, it is separated by a muscular wall. It is separated by a muscular wall. Similarly, right atrium and right ventricle Left atrium and left ventricle, it is separated by a muscular wall. 
right atrium and right ventricle as well as left atrium and left ventricle that is separated by a muscular wall. In the muscular wall, there is a wall which regulates the flow of blood from right atrium into right ventricle as well as from the left atrium into the left ventricle. And the wall which is present on the right side, it is known as tricuspid wall. Tricuspid wall. Cusp means flap like structure. Cusp means flap like structure. Since three cusp is found on the right side, it is known as tricuspid valve. On the left side, the valve is known as bicuspid valve. Bicuspid valve. The other name for bicuspid valve is mitral valve. Mitral valve. Since two cusp is present, it is known as bicuspid wall. It is also known as mitral wall because it resembles like the mitre worn by a bishop. Mitre means the crown worn by a bishop. I hope you understood. The next topic is about the blood vessels related to heart. The first blood vessel, it is known as vena cava. Vena cava. The largest vein in our body. Vena cava carries the impure blood towards the heart. Impure blood towards the heart. It opens in the right atrium. It opens to the right atrium of the heart. There are two parts for vena cava. One is superior vena cava and the second one is inferior vena cava. Superior vena cava and inferior vena cava. Superior vena cava carries the impure blood from anterior part of a body. Anterior means upper part of a body. Inferior vena cava carries the impure blood from posterior parts of a body. Posterior means lower part of a body. The second blood vessel is known as pulmonary artery pulmonary artery the blood vessel which arises from the right ventricle the blood vessel which arises from the right ventricle it is known as pulmonary artery it carries the blood away from the heart it carries the blood away from the heart. It carries the impure blood from the right ventricle into the lungs for purification. It carries the impure blood from the right ventricle to the lungs for purification. You can see two branches here of pulmonary artery. One which enters into the right side of the lung and the other which enters into the left side of the lung. And the third blood vessel, what we have to learn, it is known as aorta. Aorta. The largest artery. The largest artery. The blood vessel which carries the pure blood away from the heart. 
the blood vessel which carries pure blood away from the heart is known as aorta and the fourth blood vessel what we have to discuss is pulmonary vein pulmonary vein the blood vessel which carries the pure blood towards the heart the blood vessel which carries pure blood towards the heart it is pulmonary vein it opens into the left atrium it opens into the left atrium i hope all the four blood vessels are clear for you one of the peculiarity what you can see here is we have learnt that arteries usually carry the pure blood and veins carry the impure blood but look at the blood vessel here pulmonary artery and pulmonary vein pulmonary artery carries the impure blood from the right ventricle to the lungs for purification and pulmonary vein carries the pure blood after purification from the lungs towards the heart so it is an exceptional case pulmonary artery carries impure blood to the lungs for purification and pulmonary vein carries the pure blood after purification in the lungs towards the heart don't get confused with it that's why i mentioned about it the next is about the valve present at the tip of pulmonary artery and aorta at the tip of the pulmonary artery and aorta there is a valve present which regulates the backward flow of blood into the heart which regulates the backward flow of blood into the heart and the valve which is seen on the pulmonary artery it is known as pulmonary valve it is known as pulmonary valve and the valve which is present on aorta it is known as aortic valve aortic valve we all know that the heart is made up of cardiac muscles along with the cardiac muscle there are some specialized cardiac musculature known as nodal tissue which is seen throughout the heart a patch of this tissue is present on the right upper corner of right atrium and that is known as sa node it is known as sa node the full form of sa node is sino atrial node sino atrial node and the function of sino atrial node is it initiates the contraction and relaxation of the heart muscles another name is also there for sino atrial node i think that is familiar for you and it is known as pacemaker more about it we will learn afterwards